Welcome back to the BNA podcast presented by Redline Auto and Elite Compression on the Rocket Productions Network. I'm your host, Brindley Fouts. If you are new or have missed any episodes of the BNA podcast, go find the Rocket Productions Network on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, or any place where you listen to podcasts. All of our podcasts are also on the Rocket Productions YouTube channel. If you are not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Be sure to check out the Rocket Productions on Instagram and Facebook. Let's get into it. We are here today with Whitney Roach, a part, a member of the choir. So, how are you doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Good. Okay, so... How is choir going? It's going pretty good. Um, we've been working really hard, and we're excited for a concert tonight. It's fun. How Have you guys gone to any competitions? Not yet this year, but we have a ton in the future. Okay, so like this year in the future? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so... Where do you what guys do you- go? Yeah. So we go to districts and state, and we don't know where they are yet, but we did get invited to a very special event called Camier, which is very hard to get into as a choir. So what do you think the results of those are going to be? Um, I feel like we're going to get ones at district and state, which are really good. And Camier, it's basically just to show off what we've been working on so far. Okay, so it's not like graded like the other ones are? Yeah. Okay. Um, so are you guys excited for the concert tonight? We are very excited. We have been working every day and just doing little tweaks to make sure that we sound really good. What are you guys singing? We're singing four songs. We're singing Knox, UB Latte, and The Night Shall Be Filled with Music, and The Argument. Which one's your favorite? The Argument. Really? Why is that? We do fun, like we have choreography, we do a fun dance routine to it. So you guys don't just sing, but you guys do a lot of other things? Yes. That's fun. How many... uh Choir concerts have you had this year? Is this your first? This is our first one. Nice. Oh, I get, I keep thinking it's like the end of the year, but I guess it is like the beginning of the year. <laughs> okay, so how do you feel as an individual in choir? I feel great. I'm really happy that I'm in Rocket Airs, and I just feel like I, individually, we work separately to make sure that we're okay or we're doing good, mm-hmm. and then when we come together, it just makes music it sounds great so is, does it make it a lot easier to do it separately and then come together or do, does it make it harder because like you can't know what the other people it's it's kind of both I mean um if we work separately we learn our notes and we learn what we need to do and then when we come together we just put it all together okay so do you guys have to like tweak things I guess when you guys come together yeah yeah did you guys did you do choir in middle school I did it's fun um So what inspired you to join choir? So both of my parents are music majors, and they were both in top choir their whole lives. So being in this top choir makes me feel like I'm honoring them in a way. Mm -hmm. So That's cool. Your dad is the, like, intermediate school? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you love being in choir? I love it. You do? It's such a family. It's just a great class to just kind of meet new people and do what you love. Yeah. So aside from, besides from choir, um, what else are you involved in? Um, I'm involved in swim as well. Do you, uh, do you like doing swim? I love doing swim. I've been yeah. doing swim since I was little. So you've stuck with it your whole life? Yeah. Yeah. Um, how are classes this year? Classes, they're not as hard as last year, I will say that. Um, I feel like I'm doing pretty well. That's good. Was last year your hardest year? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So what what grade are you in? I'm a senior. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Yeah. (laughs) Um, But that's good that this year is a lot easier. Mm -hmm. Do you have like a, I guess, favorite class that's not choir? Like we know you love choir. Um, My favorite class would probably be ceramics. That's fun. Do you like art too then? Yeah. Yeah. You like all the, um, I guess, I don't know, art and choir. The fine arts. Yeah, yeah. the fine arts. Yes, there. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) All right, we'll be right back with Whitney to talk about some more things in choir. But before that, Elite Compression has been offering their service for over six years. They fit all patients with lymphedema and chronic venous insufficiencies and make it easier for the patient to live their lives to the fullest. They are open all weekdays from 8.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. You can locate them at 10346 Stonegate Street. You can contact them today at 316-636-7900. The Rose Hill Rec Center was created in 1973 and has been a staple in the Rose Hill community as a place to work out and enjoy fitness. They have, been a 20, they have a 24-hour fitness center where you can work out in a num- numerous ways. Their office is open 7.30 to 5 on Mondays through Fridays and closed on the weekends. They also have numerous rec leagues ranging from basketball to baseball for all ages. You can contact the Rose Hill Rec Center at 316-776-9880.
Okay, we are back here today with Whitney Roach. So, are you in Rocket Airs? Yes. So, what is that? Rocket Airs is our top choir here at the high school. So, it's not just for girls, but, like, guys and girls? Yes, it's a mixed choir. I, okay, there are, like, different sections or groups in, like, choir. So, what are you? I'm a soprano, too. Okay. So, what is that, I guess? <laughs> so, we have soprano one, which is the girls that sing the highest notes. Mm -hmm. And then you have soprano two, which is kind of a step down from that. And then every section kind of splits in half at some point. So you have alto one and alto two, uh, tenor one, tenor two, and then bass one and bass two. Okay, weird question. Have you ever thought about being in band? I was in orchestra for a while. Okay, so is school. that just like like the cello? and? So orchestra is bass, cello, violin, viola. So the string instruments? Yes. Okay. Um, did you enjoy that? Kind of. Um, I don't think it was for me, so. Where did you go before you went to um, I went to Derby. Okay. Do you like Rose Hill? Yes. Yeah. How many choirs are there? Like, different classes, I guess. Um, so we have Concert Choir, LaBelle, Chamber, Glee, Co Glee Club, Rocket Airs, and then there's Individual Voice, which it's a class, but it's not a choir, so. So are you in any of those or just Rocket Airs? Just Rocket Airs. Fun. Do you think you would enjoy any of the other ones? I feel like I would. I feel like I would like LaBelle a lot. Yeah, what is that? LaBelle is an all-girl choir. Okay, so it's just, instead of, like, deeper voices, it's just... It's just girls, yeah. Yeah. Um, what is Rocket Airs like? Rocket Airs is kind of like a family. We kind of have to stick together because if there's, like, tension within anyone, then it kind of messes up our sound and it doesn't make us sound unified. Yeah. So we always have to, you know, if we have a problem, we need to work it out so we can all be connected. So do you feel like outside conflicts affect your choir group? Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. Are you friends with, like, the people that are in your choir, like, outside of it? You hang out with them? So? Yeah. There's a couple people that I'm really close with in the choir that I hang out with outside of school, but... Yeah. Did you get close with them in choir? Did you know them before and you guys joined together? Um, I knew a couple of them from a choir I was in before and then we just kind of got close and moved together so choir brought you guys together yeah that's cool um what are you excited about for the future in choir I'm excited for all the fun things we have planned you know with Camier Camier is such a big deal that it's an honor that we get to go we're going to worlds of fun at the end of the year and contest is always just so fun so i'm excited for all of those so is cameo like do a bunch of schools get invited or is it just like a select few it's a select few so you can't get invited twice in the same two years <clears throat> so you they you submit your um audition and if they like the way you sound they'll invite you to come sing for them oh so that's cool so it's not like a, what they think you are like you just get invited on base what they have seen yes that's cool so what is something that you plan to achieve in choir? Um, I hope that we get all ones at district and state because getting ones in a um, big choir like that is really cool. And it's really nice to say that. How, how big is Rocket Airs? Rocket Airs is about 35 people. So it's a pretty big choir? Yeah. Yeah. Um, do you plan on going anywhere for like college for choir? No, not particularly. I, um, I'm kind of going to go a different way instead of staying with music. What are you planning on doing? Um, I want to be an EMT. That's fun. That's nice. Wait, okay, so do you, are you going to college for that? Or um, how, do you, how does that work? So Butler offers one course where you get the EMT certification, and then if you want to go up in the field, you go to college for it. So what made you want to become an EMT? I am, I'm a lifeguard, and just having the, uh, having the training and having the opportunity to save people is just really cool to me. Where do you lifeguard at? Rock River Rapids. Do you like it there? Yes. Yeah. Um, what is the environment like in choir, I guess? Like, how are people towards each other? Um, you know, we get into, we're kind of like a family. We get into fights sometimes over the music and how we see it, but we always learn to... Um, come back together so we don't ruin our sound yeah that's good because like you said it affects when you have outside conflict yeah yeah um so back to the college thing um if you 
end up getting a scholarship for choir. Would you go somewhere with that or? If I did get a scholarship, it would depend on where it was and, you know, what it is. Mm -hmm. So it would depend on that. Yeah, that makes sense. All right. Well, we will be right back to talk to Whitney about some fun would you rather questions. But before that, um, Redline Auto Repair has been repairing vehicles for 20 years. They're located at 112 North Rose Hill Road. They work on all makes and models and have the newest technology to service your vehicle. They're open five days a week from 8 a.m. till 5.30 p.m. You can call them today at 316-776-9069. Auto Body Connections have been in Rose Hill since 1989. Any mechanical or electrical problems you have, bring it on down to Auto Body Connections and see the team at 325 North Pawson Street in Rose Hill. And the phone number on that is 316-776-0222. We are back here today with Whitney asking some would you rather questions. Um, okay, so this one's kind of odd, but um, would you rather be your family dog or a wild wolf? Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I would be my family dog just because dogs and families usually get treated really well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's true. Okay. Would you rather lose every single cam camera picture and video in your camera <laughs> roll or lose all of your text messages? Ooh, um, I would rather lose all my text messages because I don't text that much. And um, camera roll holds memories. Yeah. Yeah. That was a struggle for me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why my brain is like blanking. Would you rather lose all your camera roll or any camera roll? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, would you rather sleep for a whole year or not sleep at all for a whole year? I would rather sleep for a whole year because I love my beauty sleep. Yeah. <laughs> me too. I love sleeping in until like one or two. My mom always gets mad at me though. <laughs> okay, would you rather have a magical pencil to draw objects into existence or a magical eraser to make it, things permanently disappear? Um, I would rather have the pencil because I could draw myself money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Money's a great thing. Okay, so I have one more question for you. Um, as a senior, are you excited for like all the dances coming up? Like, are you more excited than you were previous years? I am, because this is our last one, so you kind of just want to make it count. Mm -hmm. um, if you were to get voted onto homecoming, or I guess homecoming snowball or um, prom court, would you be excited? Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, I would... Homecoming snowball? <laughs> <laughs> homecoming comma snowball. Oh, okay. I would love to be nominated. I think that is such a big honor, yeah. and it's a way to show, like, present yourself to the school. Yeah. That would be exciting. So is there anything that, like, you're really looking forward to or that, like, are more special than they have been in the past years as a senior? I'm excited for swim season. I'm excited for my last year because I've been doing swim since I was six years old. So this will be my last year swimming probably ever on a team. So I'm just excited to be, be a leader and swim my best. Is swim, like, a team sport or is it more of an individual sport? It's both. So we have points that we get as a team we also have relays with multiple people in them but we also have individual races that count towards getting points so do you get to pick the races that you're in sometimes and then other times if the coach sees something that you're good at but maybe you don't want to do she'll put you in it for to see what happens okay that's cool all right, well, thank you for watching and listening to the BNA podcast on the Rocket Productions Network. Remember to subscribe to the Rocket Productions, on Net Produc Productions Network on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, SoundCloud, or any place where you listen to podcasts. If you're not already a subscriber to the Rocket Productions on YouTube, please subscribe. Until next time, for Amir Jones, I'm Brinley Fouts.